can I take my pet as in cabin? Uh, what are the challenges associated with taking my pet as in cabin? Uh, what are the other options if I'm not able to carry my pet as in cabin? What is manifest cargo option? Where do I check my pets in? Or who checks my pets in when they have to travel? What happens at transit points? When my pet reaches my destination, what happens? Where will they come out from? Hi guys, my name is Anand. Uh, I'm the founder of uh, Anvisync, which is a platform which connects pet professionals to uh, pet parents like yourselves. Uh, also the founder of Anvis Pet Relocation, where we help people move from one country to another with their pets. Um, also the founder of a pet academy called Alpha, where we teach aspiring pet professionals how to become, um, you know, how to learn in terms of dog walking, pet sitting, you know, trainers, relocation, so on and so forth. So today's uh, topic uh, in terms of um, uh, traveling with pets uh, in those series, in that series, I'm actually be talking about how does a pet travel? What are the options that the pet travels? Uh, what could be the best option for your pet? So quickly jumping into that, I think one of the first things and you know most asked questions is, can my pet travel as in cabin, right? With me in the cabin. Yes, uh, on certain airlines. Um, this is mostly if your pet and the carrier, right? Which is basically, uh, so it's not, a, it's not a hard crate, but a soft crate. If it, uh, there are some dimensions, if it meets those dimensions, yes, your pet can go in with you. There is also a cutoff on weight, um, you know, generally up to seven or eight kgs. Most airlines will allow your pet to travel with you as in cabin. However, check with the airline, check with the routing, because as as in, in pet travel, uh, nothing is completely standardized. Everything is fairly customizable. Um, and when I say customizable, I mean more from an airline and regulatory point of view. Uh, so you can, but check with the airlines, check with the routing. There are some, some countries that will just not allow pets to come in as uh, in cabin. So check. Right. But by and large, right, if your pet meets these uh, uh, specifications, is, is small size, is fits into the dimensions and the weight specification on certain routes, certain airlines will allow. So that is one option. If that is not possible, what is the second option? How can my pet travel? This is an option what we call as accompanied baggage. Now, what is accompanied baggage? Just as the name suggests, it is your pet gets checked in with you uh, along with your baggage. So basically you go into the passenger terminal with your pet, check in your pet, pet flies with you on the same same flight, same routing, uh, right? You receive your pet at the destination, uh, you know, you clear the paperwork, so the paperwork has to be done or the clearance of, of your pet, right? Documentation, whatever it is, has to be shown by you to the customs official or the uh, animal authorities in that particular country and then you're out, all right? What happens at transit points? Can you see your pets at transit points? Uh, most airports no, because you would probably be going into a different country altogether. So there are multiple regulations, uh, except for Paris, that is the Charles de Gaulle airport. So you have to check out your pet along with your baggage, recheck them back in uh, before you proceed on to the second flight. So if you're transiting through Paris, please understand that you will have to check out and then recheck in, which means your pet has to be compliant with EU regulations as well as you should also be uh, okay to enter in like, you know, in terms of visa and your, your, your passport status, so on and so forth, right? Um, so that is with the accompanied baggage. Will all airlines carry pets as accompanied baggage? No. Again, accompanied baggage, there is a size uh, cutoff. Sometimes there's a weight cutoff on, on, on breeds and I mean, in terms of sizes and, and breeds and so on and so forth. Yes, there are embargoes on certain breeds. Certain airlines will not carry certain uh, breeds of dogs or cats, typically snub-nosed ones. And, um, you know, some of the dogs that come under what we call as the uh, restricted breeds, right? Uh, again, check with the airlines, but accompanied baggage option is by far, if you have an option, I think that's by far the easiest, most straightforward option that you can travel with your pet. Uh, there, however, you also need to keep in mind that there are some countries that will just not accept pets coming in as accompanied baggage. Uh, so in those countries, pets have to go in as manifest cargo only. 
uh, for example, Dubai, um, UK, which is basically the Heathrow Airport. Uh, then you need you are looking at you know South Africa, Australia, uh, some of these countries. But otherwise, uh, a lot of majority of the countries will allow pets to come in as a company. So talk to your pet relocator, find out which countries will allow pets to come in as a company. If the airline routing size of your pet is uh, falls in line with with all this, I think that's personally, in my opinion, I think that's the best uh, best option to go with. What is the third option? Third option is what we call as manifest cargo option. Uh, typically, what is manifest cargo option? The pets get checked in uh, as cargo, uh, right? So this is irrespective of your travel date and flight. You go into the passenger terminal, your pet can will go into the cargo terminal. Uh, there is custom uh, documentation that needs to happen uh, because they are not traveling with you. So, you know, there, there are a lot of documentation that happens pet needs to get checked into the cargo hold it could be on the same passenger flight that perhaps in some countries if it is if they are allowing for example if you have a larger dog and an airline will not carry uh, at as a company baggage you can check them as uh, or you can book them as manifest cargo uh, they will travel they'll most probably you, we could figure out that they travel on the same flight in the hold of the aircraft but they will get checked into the uh, through the cargo uh, terminal option uh, why why is there that uh, there is this there is this challenge that uh, there is weight restriction all that uh, it mostly has to do with labor laws uh, because uh, during in the passenger terminal uh, you may not have too much heavy machinery to lift um, or pick up larger uh, crate sizes and you know some dimensions and all that because people are lifting that so they have some a regulation that stated um, you know uh, people cannot lift a certain certain weight volumetric weight so on and so forth in the cargo terminal you have machines that do that so uh, so that's how it that's how it goes through the manifest cargo i mean through the cargo terminal now challenges of manifest cargo is that you have to have your pet handed over to the airlines close to uh, you know anywhere between three to five hours before the travel and you need another hour couple of hours before that uh, to finish all this paperwork etc at transit points uh, again you need to factor in at least you know most airlines may routing will say about four and a half to five and a half hours time will be required for them to uh, deplane them in some cases they need to take them to an animal hold area and then come back and then reload them onto the next flight so they will not do shorter connections Whereas accompanied baggage, in many cases, you will get shorter connections, right? Even an hour and a half kind of a connections, you should be able to get it. Manifest cargo, not, not like very few times that you will get a shorter connection. Minimum will be anywhere between four and a half, four and a half to five and a half hours. Uh, as you reach your destination also in manifest cargo, you will require an agent who will need to do again, you know, custom clearance, so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, you know finish all the paperwork before you can be reunited with your pet that also you need to factor in most airports will take before uh, you know the pet is handed over to the agent and then they do the paperwork clearance etc it will take anywhere between four to six hours in some airports more some airports less but give or take right uh, so these are the three main options in cabin uh, accompany baggage manifest cargo option um, the last option which you know typically that uh, we as Anvis offer and we have been the pioneers in this is what we call as a premium pet relocation service which is typically uh, me or somebody from my team we fly out with the pet uh, from door to door uh, as either in cabin if your pet will meet all the conditions including the country or as accompanied baggage. So if for some reason, as uh, you know, you know that uh, an accompanied or an in-cabin option is possible, like I said, depending on breed size, um, you know, country regulations, but let's say you are in a different country or you're not able to travel, you have to travel earlier, pet has to join you later. If you want to make a choice between manifest cargo and the premium service, premium service is something that we do offer. However, I think word of caution, um, uh, we started the premium service almost like I don't know, eight years, nine years back. Uh, there are people who are offering premium service, um, you know, re in the recent, I've seen in the recently. Check the credential. That's all I'm saying. Check the credential. If people know uh, what is it, it shouldn't be that it's a 
it's a it's it's a it's a holiday to travel outside with your pet i think that's not what is i think it is more about a responsibility of traveling with your pet i have done some 22 countries with um with different different pets to different parts of the globe and i don't think i have stayed back to look at it as a as a travel it is a good adventure yes uh, but just a word of caution because it it is it is a glamorous thing right and i think people want to want to go with the flow so just be just be uh, sure if you're going with the premium service to go select the right kind of of uh, relocator right so just to quickly summarize i think options um, of of flying will typically be this right in cabin depending on on weight depending on dimensions certain airlines will carry and also depending on uh, country regulations accompanied baggage will also be um if you're flying and then you know pet can check in with you during in in the passenger terminal that's a good option um right again it depends on weight uh, dimensions and country that you're traveling to uh third will be manifest cargo option where you know uh, pet will will check in separately irrespective of your travel of course we will require your travel tickets and all that to show that you have you have travel and the last option is a premium service which we kind of offer as usual guys if you have any more questions regarding this uh, feel free to drop in your uh, comments as below and i will try and uh, uh, you know answer to them as and how i can right all right take care guys uh, and safe travels to all of you